haven't got the authority to do it themselves, and they want it done as soon as possible. So as soon as light dawns, they take Jesus bound to go and see the local governor, Pilate. Are you the king of the Jews? Pilate asks Jesus. Uh, As a politician, he's most concerned with maintaining the peace in this very delicate situation. So that's the main accusation that would be of concern to Pilate. Jesus' answer is not just, that's what you have said, uh, but it's more affirming than that. You have said it to be so is perhaps the gist of what Jesus is saying there. But then as the religious leaders uh, are shouting their different accusations uh, at him, uh, he doesn't open his mouth. He keeps quiet before them, which absolutely amazes Pilate. Why is he not answering his accusers? Perhaps there's something of Isaiah's prophecy here. As a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he doesn't open his mouth. Pilate clearly doesn't think that Jesus is guilty of anything worthy of death, but he also doesn't want to upset these very influential religious leaders. And so he comes up with a solution. Because it's festival time, he's allowed to release one prisoner, set them free, let them off the hook. And so he gets the crowd to choose between two people. One person is Barabbas, who has taken the life of another person. And the other person is, of course, Jesus, who has given life to so many in his healing. It should be an obvious choice. But the chief priests, they stir up the crowd to ask for Barabbas to be released. And when Pilate asks what he should do with Jesus, the crowd all shout out, crucify him. Pilate can do nothing else. And so he hands Jesus over to be executed. On the one hand, we see here how fickle popularity can be. Uh, One week, the crowds are welcoming Jesus as their king. He's the most popular person as they shout Hosanna and wave palm branches as he comes into Jerusalem. But the very next week, the crowd are shouting for his execution. We are fickle people. But thankfully, the power of Christ is not in his popularity, but in his suffering and death. And that is the path for those that follow him as well. On the other hand here, we see the gospel in picture form. We see the one who is innocent dying in the place of the one who is guilty. Jesus has come to die for you and for me in our sinfulness, in what we deserve. He goes to his death and we are set free.